Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be following another trend and I'm gonna be mixing all my foundations together. I don't have like 100, I only have like 12 from like drugstore, high end, mix of both. So if you guys wanna know what I thought about this finish and how it feels on my face and if I liked it or not, keep on watching and hit the like and subscribe button if you guys wanna see more videos from me in the future. Now let's get straight into the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix all my foundations together. I don't have a lot, but I have quite a few. I don't have a lot because I threw most of them out. Either I had them too long and I thought they were bad or the colors didn't match me at all anymore. So I took them out. I think I have like 15, 10. So we're gonna go through them all and I'm gonna mix it. So we're gonna mix it all in this empty container that I have. Um, I'm just gonna start off with like a random order and kind of put like a little bit of every foundation. First one is L'Oreal Infallible in Pro Glow. So we're gonna do a drop of that. So I'm just using this empty container and I'm going to be putting a drop like I did, like that. So next is the Fit Me by Maybelline. I know the packaging looks different, and that's because I got it in Sweden. So we're gonna put a drop of that. Ooh. So next is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I put a drop of that. The LA Girl um, Pro BB Cream. That's the next one. The next one is the Fenty Beauty. Let me just tell you, I dropped this the other day, and my pump is now broken. So the only way I can use it now is by like taking drops of it so I guess it works out for this. Next one is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation. This one's a pump. And then the Huda Beauty foundation. I feel like my face is gonna be so gross because I feel like my face is gonna break out like crazy after doing this. Next one is the Cover FX Drops. I'm gonna put a drop of that. And then I have the MAC Studio Fix in NC15. So I think that's pretty much all my foundations. I Oh wait, there's this one, but I haven't opened this one yet. Oh well. I don't, I haven't seen this in like Canada or the States, but it was in Sweden and I thought I should buy it. It's the Maybelline Infinity Tone Hydrating Tone on Tone Foundation. Whatever that means. I just use like 11 foundations. And I'm gonna mix them all in my jar. Kinda like spread it on my face. Hopefully the color matches because some of these shades are like my tan shade. So if it doesn't match then my life's an L. Watch this be like my new favorite makeup now. Having all my foundations mixed together. I don't know what that does to the face, but we're gonna find out tomorrow, aren't we? I definitely am. So I'm just gonna blend this out. It's giving me more of a full coverage. And I can feel the texture of, um, what is it, the Fenty Beauty and also like Huda Beauty. The way it comes out on the skin. It's definitely drying really quick. I mean, not a bad shade. It matches. It just looks like a bit yellow when I put it on my face, but besides that, it matches. But like, it definitely is making my skin look um, patchy in a way. Cause like all these foundations and different formulas are mixing together. Some are dewy, some are matte, so I don't think it knows how to act on my face. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I don't know if I'm living for it or if I'm hating it, but let's do all my other steps. I'm gonna conceal, cause I'm getting a spot right there and underneath my eyes and the spot right there. So I'm just using the Wet n Wild Concealer. I'm gonna set my face using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Bronze up my face using the Hula by Benefit, one of my favorite bronzers. For blush, I'm just using the Tarte Blush in Thrilled. That's the best it's gonna get from my Miss T. I don't know why I'm calling myself Miss T, but we are. Face is pretty natural looking, so I'm gonna keep that same vibe and use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And this is called Illuminating Mineral Veil. 
and kind of giving me that natural, natural pinky whitish glow. And I'm gonna use this Pearl Essence Hydrating Spray that you can get from like Marshall, and it makes the skin feel super nice and hydrated. Tips from tea. Ooh, that should be my thing, tips from tea. So this is pretty much how my face looks after mixing all my foundations and doing the rest of my steps. It doesn't feel bad, like mine doesn't feel cakey because I feel like I have a mix of like dewy foundations and matte foundations. So I think they've like balanced each other out and made it like this like nice finish. Honestly, I still have a little bit left. I think I might use it tomorrow, but I think it's gonna break me out. So I don't know if I wanna risk that really or not. But I can say like, even looking close up, like all my imperfections and all that is pretty much covered. Yeah, like it's not crazy, it's not um, cakey looking, like it looks put together. But also I only had like 10, 12 foundations. If you had like 50 or like 100, I don't know. It probably feels so thick on the skin. Mine doesn't feel that bad because I don't have that many layers. It was just like a little pump of each from every single foundation. I kind of really like the finish of it. I feel like it's my perfect shade. I just, The struggles I've had finding the perfect shade, let me just tell you. So I think this is pretty much the end of this video of me mixing all my foundations together and getting this outcome. If you guys mixed all your foundations out, let me know how it worked out for you. Did you like your finish or maybe you had a lot, so honestly it probably came out cakey, but for me I only had like 12, so I think the finish turned out pretty nice. Let me know in the comments below if you guys tried mixing your foundations and what the outcomes were for you. If you guys did enjoy this video, please smash the like button, hit subscribe, and make sure to hit that bell if you want to get notified the next time I drop my next video. In that video, I'm going to be doing um, my eyeshadow using one palette, so pretty much I have to use every single color from that palette and create an eye look. So if you guys want to see how that works out for me, then subscribe and press that bell so you guys get notified when I drop it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time on my next video.